AMD, Intel, one is actually not as good as you think. So roughly three months ago, AMD sent out the 9900X3D and the 9950X3D. We went ahead and did an AMD versus Intel video. As you guys can see in this channel, we did a full on benchmark and I kind of explained a few things on there that the 9950X, 9900X did outperform the Intel Core Ultra 9, but the Intel Core Ultra 9 had a better gaming experience. The lows, the mids, and the high were actually very close, and that kind of gives you a better gaming experience overall. But what I decided to do is actually build two identical builds, one being AMD, one being Intel, both having 64 gigs of RAM, AMD having 6,000 CL28, while the Intel build had 6,800 CL32. I could have gone higher on the RAM on the Intel build, definitely could have gone up to the 7,600 megahertz range. It would have increased performance, not by much, it's probably like another five or 10 FPS. They're also both rocking an RTX 5080. I did swap the two. I had an Astral in one, an M Master in the other, and I swapped them just to see if there was any difference. Pretty much the same results came out of it. So what I went ahead and did is my main game that I play is Star Citizen, and that game is very CPU, very RAM heavy, and most of the community recommends the X3D chips. I personally have been recommending the Intel CPUs. Uh, even the i9 14900K does a phenomenal job in Star Citizen. But the community itself is just so diehard when it comes to the AMD side of things that I was kind of like, you know what? Let me just test it out personally to see how it works in that game. And I did that for the past three months. I would stream from the warehouse, which was on this PC, on the AMD build. I would stream from my home office, which was this Intel Core Ultra 9 build. And the performance honestly was definitely better on the Ryzen CPU when it came to actual FPS numbers. I was definitely getting higher FPS, but I'm gonna show you here in a little bit of video kind of comparing the two side by side, and you notice that the Intel Core Ultra 9 did perform a little bit less, but the performance and the experience was definitely much better. There was a lot of hitching when it came to the X3D chips. That included the 9900X3D, 9950X3D. The 9900X3D also had it, just not as much. I think there's something going on still with the CCD, and keep in mind too that a lot of these engines are still very early alpha, especially games like Star Citizen. And just a quick disclaimer, this is all based on my personal experience, and this is all my personal opinion. I know for a fact, you all are gonna be in the comments pretty much battling it out, saying Intel, AMD, Intel, trust me, I know. There's some out here that are diehard Intel fans, there's some of you that are diehard AMD fans. I'm the fan of whatever one is a better experience for myself, that's the one I'm gonna use, and that's the one I'm going to recommend. So let's jump right into the video so you guys can take a look yourself. Lorville is uh, one of the heaviest ones to to run. But you can see already, it's definitely... So here's the thing too. It is definitely less performance. As you guys are seeing, I think at this part right here, we'll compare it. Um, side by side here. But the thing is, once again, it just feels smoother. It's just a smoother experience. And this is why I kind of lean towards more Intel when it comes to Star Citizen. And I think that's why DePoets leans more towards Intel as well when it comes to Star Citizen. This experience right now to me is just more enjoyable. No hitching. And I think if there is any hitching, it's like very, it's not, it's not all the time. I mean, I haven't seen one yet. Just overall, a uh, better experience. Obviously, like I said, it, I think it is lower FPS. But uh, just a smoother experience. And again, I think it just has something to do with the CCDs, maybe the core parking or something with this game. Um, and the 9800X3D does perform a little bit better when it comes to the whole hitching situation. It still does hitch, just not as much. But yeah, this is definitely a smoother experience again both pcs are rocking rtx 5080s went ahead and switched both 5080s too just to be safe and be like hey maybe it's the 5080 no it's definitely not uh, i had the m master in here before i had the astral in the other pc switched it back and forth um still had the same experience 
but definitely definitely a more enjoyable experience it's gonna go it's gonna go when i got in here last time you saw in the amd build it was definitely hitching again the train i kind of the way it moves that's definitely just server based so ignore that but uh yeah so one last thing i did not mention um, was I actually did use the 9070 XT in both of them as well, just to kind of see if there was any difference. If, you know, if it was AMD CPU paired with an AMD GPU, it would perform better or smoother or whatever it may be. That was not the case. It was still having some slight hitching when it came to the 9070 XT on the AMD build. And also going back to the Intel Ultra 9, the experience was definitely a little bit smoother on the 9070 XT with the Intel Ultra 9. So as you guys saw in the video there previously, on the right hand side, you did see that the AMD build had some slight hitching here and there, while the Intel build definitely was running a little bit less in performance, but just the gaming experience overall was much better. And like I stated in the video, it's kind of weird with the AMD platform, when I start the game up and I start playing, in the beginning it starts hitching for a little bit, over time it kind of starts going away slowly. So after a few hours of gameplay, it starts smoothing out, and then I start seeing some hitching, uh, but very rarely, not as much as I do in the beginning. Also keep in mind, this video is not just a Star Citizen video. I did try other games like the new Indiana Jones. I did try Assassin's Creed, the Half-Life uh, RTX as well. There were other few games that were having the same experience with the hitching. Uh, on Fortnite, it was pretty smooth, had no issues there. Marvel Rivals was pretty smooth on both, had no issues there. The thing is, I'm not saying, yes, you need to go Intel, or yes, you need to go AMD. What I'm saying is, from my personal experience, from my use of what I'm using the PC for, the Intel Core Ultra 9, for me, was the way to go. Yes, I did lose a little bit of performance going from the 1400KS to the Intel Core Ultra 9, but I do like the fact that there is something with the architect itself. On Windows, it just runs a lot smoother. I'm not having any issues on Windows 11. I know some have reported some issues with that. But me personally, it's just been a really good experience. So in my case, I'm choosing Intel. In my personal case, and I can't emphasize that enough, in my personal case, again, I know you guys are gonna be in the comments going at it or whatever, Intel, fanboy, whatever it may be, trust me. I am a fan of what works and what I experience when it comes to the PC hardware side of things. And also keep in mind, yes, we are a system integrator. We sell both products and regardless of which product you purchase, it benefits us. So there's no like, this is not a hashtag ad by Intel, none of that stuff. So once again, I'm choosing Intel when it comes to my personal PC. Make sure you guys subscribe, peace.